Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today I get to share with you a few projects using the Pink and Mains Crafty Courtyard Kit. If you missed the unboxing, I'll link it up above here so you can check that out. This kit was packed filled with goodies. The theme of it was it's a, it's a party, so we're going to make some birthday cards today. So starting off with our first project, I'm taking a piece of black cardstock and I'm going to bring in the Pink and Main um, birthday dies. I'm going to line up the happy birthday over the black cardstock and I'm going to use the actually um, negative piece of this cardstock. But I'm going to keep the inside pieces too because we're going to inlay the, the letters. I also have here three pieces of the colored cardstock that came with the kit. I'm going to die cut out three candles. These There's two candles in the uh, die set and this is the one that has the stripes on it. But um, once everything's cut out, I'm using those three same colors of cardstock and I'm going to layer them behind my happy birthday. Um, I wanted each section to be a different color so what I'm going to do is use my tape runner, adhere my yellow just underneath the birth sentiment and then I'll do the same thing with the green. Layer it just underneath that birth. That way each section is bright in bold colors. <laughs> I'm just going to trim off the excess and then we'll flip our negative happy birthday piece over and I'm going to add some thin pieces of foam tape. So we're going to give our sentiment a little bit of dimension. We'll just layer that on our colored cardstock and then I didn't quite get it centered so I want to just trim off the excess with my scissors. Oh, this is where I'm going to take the inside pieces of my letters and just using some glue, I'll adhere them to that colored cardstock. That way my letters are completed. Okay, and I did die cut out a circle with the gray cardstock that came in the kit there. Now we're going to, I wanted to bring in some sparkle. So I have a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to go over it with my Versamark ink. Um, in this kit, there came some silver glittery embossing powder from Wow. I thought we'd cover this entire cardstock panel with the um, the glittery cardstock. Super shiny. Once that was heat set, I used the candle die, the solid one, and cut out three candles with that. Um, I kind of skipped my footage a little bit, but I did go over the edge of my happy birthday panel with my Versamark ink and then added some of that glittery embossing powder to just to the edges. You can see there. Um, I don't know what I did with my footage. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But it was super easy to do. I just lined it up on my with my ink pad and then added the embossing powder. Okay, next I'm going to adhere my gray circle to my white card base. My card bases are four and a quarter by five and a half inch top folding card bases. Next I'll adhere my happy birthday sentiment panel here. We'll place that on our card base and then I'll take my little single candles and just layer three of them together on that circle. For finishing touches I'm going to use some of the um, enamel drops. I'm not sure the technical name for these but they are so gorgeous, super pretty and I'm just going to add a little sparkle here and there with a few of the different colors here. They're glossy dots, that's what they're called official name. <laughs> so this is a pretty versatile card, great for a boy or a girl. Oops, come on there. My, I'm sorry. <laughs> my cat just climbed on my computer here. Okay, for card number two, I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock and we're going to go ahead and start off by stamping our sentiment. I chose um, Best Wishes. It's a pretty large size sentiment I'm going to place it towards the top of this panel using my mini misty here. I'm going to ink up my sentiment with the asphalt ink that came with the kit. This is a deep gray. At first I thought it was a, a light gray, but it's actually a beautiful smoky dark gray. Once my sentiment stamped, I did trim down a piece of the pattern paper that has the diagonal stripes on it. I'm going to attach that to the edge of this panel here. This is actually the width or the length of my card base. So it's five and a half inches long and it's going to be slightly smaller, um, slightly less wide than my card base. 
but I'm going over the seam of this panel with the green twine that came with the kit. And then I did add foam tape behind this panel. We'll go ahead and adhere this to our white card base. We're going to place it all the way to the right. And you can see I have that little extra area um, on the left there. Okay, now we're going to adhere our candles. I die cut out a few with each one of the colored cardstock sheets that were in this month's kit. And I placed them up and down on my panel there using some foam tape. And then for a little sparkle, I'm going to bring in some of our handmade um, silver glittery cardstock. I'm just going to die cut out a few of the stars. I just using my glue to attach them to my panel and I had this last piece here just didn't have a home so I decided to go ahead and put it on the inside of my card. <laughs> but I think that's another super versatile and fun card great for anyone. So here's a few close-ups of this card. Okay moving along to my final project today we're going to make a shaker card and so I have some black cardstock here and I'm going to die cut out the balloon, the outline of the balloon. There's two actually in the, the die set. I have three of them I die cut out with black cardstock and then I cut out a one inch strip of the balloon pattern paper. We're going to adhere that to the bottom of our panel and then cover the seam with some yellow cardstock. Um, just trimming off the excess. Now the panel size here is four inches by five and a quarter. Now using my balloons as a guide, I'm going to use my pencil and trace along the inside. Um, the dies that came with this month's kit make great, great shaker cards because the outline fits beautifully with the second balloon that came in the die set. I thought before we go any further, we'll stamp our sentiment. Um, I chose Let's Party and I wanted to actually put it in the bottom right corner. And so I'm going to reposition my balloons and use my eraser. I'm going to just erase my two balloons there and then um, play around with the placement a little bit more just so it's a little more balanced with my sentiment in that bottom corner. And I think that's looking great. So I'm going to retrace my pencil mark and then we'll take the balloon die. This piece um, layers beautifully with that outline balloon. And I'm going to die cut out three windows in my panel. Okay, we're going to flip this over. I'm going to add some tape behind here and we'll go ahead and add our acetate. We'll just place it over our windows and trim off the excess that's hanging over. Lovely. Now we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. Oh, we know we're going to add our little balloons. I'm just using um, my glue to attach these and they fit in the, the window balloon beautifully. We'll add that and we'll do that to all three. Okay, I'm going to bring in my mini Misty to stamp the rest of my sentiment. This says let's party and again I'll use the asphalt ink. We'll ink that up and stamp it a few times to make sure it's nice and crisp. And then our panel is ready to go. We're going to flip this over. I'm going to add some double sided foam tape behind here and I just use one layer. But um, I am going around each one of my balloons with my foam tape. That way um, my confetti doesn't drop all the way to the bottom. Now I'm using the confetti that came with this kit and it's super pretty and I just keep filling it and filling it but when I flipped it over it didn't look like I filled it too much. <laughs> I think I maybe it dropped down to the bottom a little bit more than I wanted. I thought about using pattern paper to line the back of my windows and then changed my mind and thought we might be a little too busy so I'm going to bring in some white cardstock and just place it over my windows sealing all of my little confetti pieces in there using my tape runner we'll add some tape and add this to another A2 size card base and you can see I didn't fill it up as much as I thought I just kept scooping and scooping but it just maybe I should have used the pattern paper behind there <laughs> but I did die cut out three of the little stars with the colored cardstock. I'm going to add one each to each of my balloons. And that finished off my third project. Super fun shaker card. Here's some close ups. 
Okay, now we're going to look at all three cards that I made with the Pink and Mains Crafty Courtyard Kit. It's called It's a Party, and this kit was for March. Kits begin shipping on the 15th, so keep a lookout for yours if you um, are a subscriber. Now, the kit did sell out, guys, but um, I'll link down below the, sus the subscription area to Pink and Mains Shop in case you're interested in the following month. This is more for inspiration. But I wish you a lovely day. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.